What is up? What is up? Hanging out in a park. It's not so we're bad. Because like we're hipster like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was explaining to you before we even turned on the cameras that we're gonna have a chat all about kind of like your first experiences since your album is called The First Time. See, we planned that. First question is, what was the first time that you ever performed in front of a crowd in your entire life? I was super, super young. Okay. It was on a cruise ship. It Amazing. was karaoke. Someone was singing something. I was sassy at that point in my life. And I walked up and I grabbed the microphone, they cut the music, and I sang Amazing Grace. Awesome. Yes. Wow. That is the full story. And then everyone jumped off the boat. <laughs> yeah. <kidding>. No. <laughs> and then it was Titanic. <laughs> Who was your very first celebrity crush? Joe Jonas. 100%? To this day. Out of all the Jonas Brothers? Oh, to this day. Okay. Yep. I like Joe too. I'm more of a Nick man. Myself. I'm not. See, all my <laughs> friends are like Nick, and I'm like, no, Joe. What was your first trip that you ever went on without your parents? The first, like, big kid trip that I took was probably um, high school spring break. Okay. Yeah. Went to Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Yeah. And what happens in Jacksonville? Nothing. Um, literally nothing. It was me and two of my girlfriends, and we like asked around, we were like gonna go out to dinner one night and we asked around and they're like, they all said the same restaurant. We're like, okay, we'll go there. And we got there and it was like a meet and three. And we we're like the youngest people by 30 years. It right. was hilarious. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Speaking of which, what was the first time that you ever remember getting drunk? Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> you know what? It was probably with my mom. Actually, she's totally gonna kill me. Um, <laughs> Right before her wedding, we okay. had a champagne tasting. Amazing. And um, I had just turned 21, so I'd never really done the champagne thing before. And it just kind of hit us at the same point. Because we were t like tasting a bunch of different ones to pick which one she wanted for of course. her wedding. And, yeah. <laughs> what was the very first song that you ever learned on guitar? Um, it was one that I wrote. I never learned anything um, like for a while. Really? It was one called... So you were just kind of like playing around with chords? Yeah. I think the first one I wrote on guitar was called Can You Hear Me Now, which I don't even remember how it goes. I just remember the title. But it was like two chords, so it was easy. What was the first album that you bought with your own cold, hard-earned cash? Probably Britney Spears. That was my first concert, too. I was, I'm a big Britney girl. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Huge influence. Huge influence. On me, too. Ooh, first celebrity that you ever met. I think the first time I really met a lot of famous people was my first CMA Fest in Nashville. Okay. Um, I met like Taylor Swift and like against Bellum and Keith Urban. I met a ton of famous people. All, and I was like that freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an intense yeah, weekend. It was intense cool. weekend of selfies. Yes. Oh, so, well, selfies weren't a thing yet, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Do you remember the first makeout that you had? I guess that like is like kiss, but like with tongue. Oh! <laughs> Well, I don't, but I do remember that my first kiss, oh my God, I was in eighth grade and we both had braces and I didn't understand, <laughs> I didn't understand like closed lips versus open and how it makes a difference when both people have braces. Right. And so it wasn't like a tongue situation, but it was like a, this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, I'm never doing that again. And I didn't kiss anyone for like years. <laughs> I was like, I hate this. That experience will scar anyone. Yeah, it was terrible. It's a difficult time when you have it's braces. It's so confusing and you're like, oh, I hate this. What was the, because now I'm sure this is like happening more and more. Um, but do you remember the very first time that you were recognized by a stranger? Yeah, it's only happened three times. Okay. Um, but the first time I was in Nashville and I just left my apartment in the morning. And I'm not a morning person, and so when I'm in Nashville, I like have my hair up in a bun, no makeup, like look just nasty. <laughs> and I had gotten this juice from a juice place, and she goes, by the way, I really like your music. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> dang it, I wish I would've known I would put makeup on. That's awesome yeah. though. But like, she was very fun. casual about she it. She was That's really cool. chill about it, yeah. That's nice. I think we're like literally getting attacked by birds No, right now. <laughs> I am concerned about the pigeon. <laughs> Get out of here. Bye, birds. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> nice. We have to know 
about the heartbreak experience? Have you ever gone through one? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah? Yeah. What was um, the first one like? Well, the first, first one's like, always the fucking hardest. Real, the first real heartbreak was probably like we dated the last two years of high school and then broke up before college. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like we were just very different humans. Like he just loved to like go out and party and like we just had different beliefs and morals. And uh, I was such like a good girl and we just clashed a lot. And um, yeah, it was just exhausting. And then by the end of it, it was like, oh, I feel like I'm exhausted and you're the worst and you're mean. And oh man, kind of yeah, it's when you let it but get to that stage. I have an album with the title track about him, so Perfect, thanks for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> Did you, who broke up with who, or was it mutual? Um, I, I think I finally called it yeah. when I went to college, yeah. What was the first time that you heard, or I guess saw someone cover one of your own songs? I mean, I stalk YouTube covers of them. Yeah. Um, and like Instagram clips. Yeah. Because I was searching them. Like there's, there's a lot there's of them. There's a lot out there. There's a lot of them, yeah. I think, I mean, I stalk pretty avidly, so I, okay. I try to stay up to speed on it. I'll go, I'll, I'll go through YouTube and try to find the, the date that was like first posted. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Throw a clip in there. If you're gonna hold me, hold me like I'm leaving. If you're gonna kiss me, kiss me like you need it. Baby, if you're not, you're best scared to leave it. If you're gonna love me, love me like you need it. Uh, thank you so much Thanks for talking for to me. I think, I think we learned a lot about you. Yes, all the fun facts. All the fun facts, <laughs> cool. Good stuff. Thank Woo. you. I'm not gonna lie, I wrote that whole tape pretty much for someone. Okay. And it was me, that whole entire tape, telling someone kind of my different views and feelings on different things because I didn't know how to say them. And um, You Should Be Here is more of a like an explanation of my self-discovery and like me as a person and things that I went through. And, and of course it's reflecting on me in relationships and love and situations like that, but there's a lot of stories on there that are just explanations of me and things that happened to me 